Even Psalms 23. Perhaps the most well-known psalm. Is there anything there that describes the Lord as our shepherd that doesn't exactly describe the Lord as fatherly? The Lord, I'll, I'll read it. I know we all, a lot, most of us have it memorized, but I'll read it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fare no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Everything that's listed here, a father does. A good father does. Only a father will, a good father will let you dwell in this house forever. Right? <laughs> but, but do you see what I'm talking about here? There's almost no distinction. This is what our everlasting father does. This is what the good shepherd does. This is what he has always been doing. Again, everlasting call. We look throughout scripture, throughout the Torah, for those of us studying the Bible study plan that we are just talking about, and we see God fathering slash shepherding the nation of Israel. Creating a nation from a man who couldn't even be a father. Abraham. Reminded Isaac in years Later, his uh, son Jacob, of his covenant, of his promise to build a nation that would be a light to the Gentiles. We see this fatherly hand making provisions as he guides Israel into Egypt. And as he calls Israel out of Egypt, we see him molding and instructing his people on his ways of his holiness, of the things that pleases him, of the things that are abominable to him. And of the fact that it is his desire to dwell with his people. The cloud by day, the fire by night, guiding them in the wilderness, all the instructions of what to do when taking the land that he said they would have. That is what the everlasting father, the good shepherd, was doing. <clears throat> 